Hi guys, so today um, we're going to unbox the Pixel 4a. It's a Singapore version and um, I got this last night. It was delivered to me. I pre-ordered it on Challenger. It was for a friend and I asked, is it okay if I unbox this? And I said, yes, just make sure that it's fine. So I was like, okay, let's do this unboxing together. And uh, it looks a little like this. So it's a very simple design. It says Team Pixel at the back. Yes, yeah, the usual specs. So 5.8 inch screen, 128 gig of storage, just black. And uh, if you want to check out whether this phone is worth getting, I have a video. I've linked it somewhere up here. You can go take a look. But um, so let's do this peel. And not sure if we can. Oh. Okay, so that's done. And here we have the phone. I'm so afraid to touch it. Here. Okay. Before we look at the actual phone, let's see what accessories they have on the inside. So, instruction manual, the usual. Uh, same ejector pin. That's it. And the charging brake. So, the this charging brick actually actually the phone itself it supports USB-C fast charging so 18 watts uh, power delivery actually USB-C power delivery and yeah so it looks quite nice it's a matte finish kind of style the single USB-C port and of course the USB-C cable itself so this looks quite normal but it actually feels quite uh, quality feel like the, there's a slight thickness to the length of the cable I believe it's just one meters long, but in the box itself, they actually included something interesting. Hold on, let me just see if I can grab it. Okay, so this looks like a, no, this is. So this is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. I'm pretty sure it might be, it's, it could be used for data transfers when you're transferring between Android phones. Not very sure about it, but uh, we'll take a look at the phone itself. So here you can see, it's quite, it's really lightweight and I really like this weight a lot. It's, it's a matte finish, but um, I can immediately tell that if I have oily hands, these are gonna show the oily prints. And um, it's a really nice size phone. In fact, I actually prefer this size and slightly smaller over my iPhone 10 and um, initial impressions I kind of like it a lot especially like the accent the color the scheme the camera bump is okay but from the looks of it it looks like um, it might scratch easily so before you unbox this phone I would suggest that you buy a screen protector and maybe even a camera bump uh, like a protector like a plastic and just put over it protect it and things like that but overall it feels really nice in the hands and um, I won't be reviewing this phone sadly because I don't think uh, there'll be a lot of views to be honest and there are a lot of other reviews out there uh, that you can take a look online but overall I think that this would be a pretty good device to buy if you're on a budget so if you want to watch other unboxing videos or other videos reviews that I have and click the links go ahead and watch it this is Ryan Reviews. Subscribe if you like the content as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.